Hi guys and welcome to my new video. Today we will be unboxing um, another anime figure. Today we have uh, Rin Tosaka from the Fate Stay Night. It's the celebration uh, dress version figure and I'm super excited for it. I was originally gonna purchase Asuna figure, but I didn't like any of the Asuna figures out there, so I ended up with this one, because I'm getting the Altars Kirito later, I think next month, I think. It's coming next month, I think. <laughs> so I'm pairing Rin with him. But let's get unboxing. So it's another really, really big box once again, uh, same as with the White Queen I unboxed previously. I ordered the figure from a quite unfamiliar site from Europe, it's called La Site des Mugues. I can't really pronounce it correctly, most likely, but I bought it from there. They had like one of these figures left. And yes, I did like open the box yesterday, but it is full of these. <laughs> these thingies. So I did not end up doing anything to it because <laughs> it's packed really well it's full of these Woohoo! but let's empty the box of these <laughs> mm. so we can finally pull out the figure uh, from the box I think it's not really successful, my attempt, but we shall see. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. So here's the box. I'm gonna show it. So here we have the figure. Um, here is the front of the box. Here's the side view. The back view, another side, there's this window there. And the top part says, oh, <laughs> anniversary. My window is really bright, so you might not be able to see much. The bottom doesn't really, there's just some text there. But let's open this baby up. I think I haven't really taken a look. She looks really pretty. And uh, the box is in really nice condition. It was not damaged at all during the uh, delivery, so big props for that. I think the packaging thingy might be a bit messy. I mean, the <laughs> inside of the uh, bigger box, but everything got here safely. It's just um, I need to <laughs> get rid of the green thingies somehow. I think I will just ask my dad to take those away. <laughs> But I have been waiting for this figure. Uh, actually, the delivery was not that bad. Because I'm used to ordering from Japan and the delivery from there is quite long. So this one was quite decent. I don't, I'm not quite sure. It was around a week, maybe. Everything is quite slow to Finland uh, anyways. And I live in East. I don't live in South. So everything takes quite a long while to get to me. Here we go. I will take her out. My taking her out is always just... My taking her out. Me taking figures out is always quite the same. I just flip the box. And then I pull the figure out. There we go. The inside of the box has these uh, golden details. I'm not sure if you can see any of these here, but there's like golden chips here and there then we have the instruction assembly manual thing let me check it out the box is really pretty though here is the instruction uh, slip do we have anything i need to really know mm. blah 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 fragile we shall see i'm gonna just open it i need my scissors here but yeah, this year I'm only getting this one and Kirito most likely. Because I don't really... I'm really picky as a figure collector, so I don't really have that many figures I 
find a, like, I must get this figure. But I had my eyes on this one for a long time, but it was sold out almost everywhere previously when I looked. And most of them I buy from a, from like, finish store. Because the uh, shipping can be quite expensive, but this figure shipping was not that expensive. I'm not quite sure. Was it like 12 or 13 euros to Finland? So it was not that horrible. But I know if you would ship it from Japan, it would be so freaking expensive. So, yeah. I think the total cost for this figure was like 160 euros or something to me. So it was not that bad. Let me pop it open. Oh, no. I still have... <laughs> I still have tape here. Urgh. Yeah, this figure is by Good Smile Company. I don't have it. I mean, I guess the Hanaira Garamo Miku was by Good Smile Company. And also my Kasanateto. I was like, oh, I don't have anything, but I actually do have. Let's pop it open. I'm always really scared of this part, so... <laughs> plastic here she is uh, I need to need to just she's quite heavy holy shit oh the dog she is quite heavy lady like I first started collecting uh, by buying price figures so I'm used to like really light ish figures I mean <laughs> when I got my first one seventh scales like I was like Oh my god, these are so heavy. I need to pull this out of her neck somehow. Like this plastic part here. You can't really see it, I think. This plastic part here, I need to somehow pull it out. So, I got that plastic part out of there. But her head is actually... I need to remove the head, so I would have gotten it out of there. But I didn't check the instructions, but... Oh my god, I feel so scared of removing her head, but... <laughs> I guess here we go. This feels so wrong. Oh my god. Ooh. <gasps> that was scary. <laughs> now she's like headless. <gasps> oh my god. Let's put the figure to the side and uh, get the parts we need to get. There was this uh, teeny tiny part that goes to her shoulders. Over her shoulders and there's teeny tiny necklace her uh, I can't I don't know if you can even see but it's really uh, cute and sweet and tiny let's put it together Here we go, she's all ready to go. <laughs> Looking lovely. I was scared to take the head off, but like, we seem to be fine. <laughs> she's so pretty. And uh, now I just need to take her base out of there. We have the base here. It is just plain white base. It's, it's quite sweet. And I think uh, you're just supposed to, there's like one peg only, so you just put it there. I think. Oh, there we go. I think she's in. <laughs> I'm quite sure now she's in. I'm gonna show you her like this. I'm gonna put uh, some B-roll footage later to the video so you can see more of her. Like, she's gorge. I'm just gonna flip her like this. So you can see. I'm really careful with my figures so I don't accidentally drop them. I would be devastated if I drop my figures. So, <laughs> just for that purpose. I like her.
So, let's do some comparisons. Here is my 1-8 scale Hichirigawa Masato. Here is the Tasaka Rin, who I just unboxed. And here is my Kasaneteto, who is also 1-7. Um, I'm not quite sure, I need to flip it actually in order to see it by myself. But I think Rin is... Uh, I mean, in terms of face, phase, she is bigger than <laughs> Masato for sure. I guess Ren is a bit more petite than uh, Kasana Teto. She's just a big woman. So it, it makes sense. She is quite lovely. Because I'm not really the biggest fan of the 188s. They're quite small, unless they have some big particle effects going around them. Uh, then it's understandable. But otherwise, like, they're quite small to my liking after I have gotten a taste of one <laughs> seven so yeah here are the figure comparisons in terms of size that I think she's she's quite simple quite elegant and just over a really pleasant figure thank you so much for watching the video um, <laughs> I will be doing a next anime figure uh, unboxing when I get my Kirito figure later next month hopefully uh, th this was the lady for today i think she's lovely i like her and she was quite affordable too so um if you are looking to get some party dress themed character you could pick it up i didn't really like the other two figures on the uh, on the dress line I just didn't really vibe with their faces, but Rin's face is uh, really lovely. I'm really picky about my about like face sculpts and all the hand hand positions and uh, everything. So I'm a picky collector. <laughs> so she was my favorite, and I got her, and I'm super happy about it. But anyways, these I'm not sure what we will be doing next time. But stay tuned. I still don't really have a theme for my channel, but I, I just do a little bit of everything. Uh, if I would have, <laughs> if A, I would not be that picky, and B, would have tons of funds, I could do more anime merch, anime figure content, but I am keeping it very light. So I will do anime related videos whenever I can, or whenever, or like whenever I'm getting something. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!